In 2030, a giant tsunami is predicted to devastate coastal cities in Europe, including Valencia, Barcelona, Marseille, Rome, Athens, and Istanbul. According to Bernardo Aga, a leading oceanographer at UNESCO, the probability of such a catastrophe is 100%. UN experts have observed that the number of global catastrophes is increasing threefold every decade, meaning that by 2035, the Earth could experience 160 disasters annually, an average of 1.5 disasters per day. This video explores why this decade is considered the most dangerous for life on Earth, how to experience a tropical storm from the safety of your home, and most crucially, which cataclysms could strike next. One of the primary concerns is the Cumbre Vieja volcano on the Canary Islands, which poses a significant threat to the Atlantic Basin. Typically, a volcanic eruption lasts about 10 days, but Cumbre Vieja is known for its prolonged activity. Even its shortest eruption in 1971 lasted 25 days, while historical records from 1585 indicate continuous activity for 84 days. Currently, a new vent appears to be forming near the village of Tejeda on the same island, indicating that the accumulated magma may be seeking new pathways to the surface. Ana Crespo Blanco, a professor of geodynamics at the University of Granada, warns that this could result in a prolonged eruption, with lava slowly seeping through multiple crevices for months. This scenario could lead to widespread evacuations, with locals unable to return to their homes for a long time due to the need for the ground to cool and stabilize, and for toxic substances like chlorine, fluorine, and phosphorus in the volcanic dust to dissipate. Meanwhile, the Helena slump on Hawaii's Big Island is another potential source of disaster. Once a volcano, this massive rock formation is now unstable and could collapse into the Pacific Ocean generating a mega tsunami that could reach the west coast of North America and flood coastal communities. Scientists believe a similar event occurred 120,000 years ago, creating a wave up to 400 meters high. If such a collapse were to happen today, the consequences would be catastrophic, with many island nations and coastal cities at risk of being submerged. In 1975, a less severe tsunami originating from the Helena slump still managed to reach California and cause significant damage. Now, any seismic activity in this tectonically active zone could trigger a similar disaster. The Helena slump is part of a complex system of tectonic features, many of which are still not well understood. Flat faults, known as decolmons, which are not visible on the surface, have already caused significant earthquakes, such as the one with a magnitude of 6.9 on May 4, 2018. While tsunamis primarily affect coastal areas, the impact of an earthquake can extend for many kilometers inland, making these events even more dangerous. The Toba volcano in Indonesia is another potential threat that could lead to one of the worst catastrophes in human history. This forgotten volcanic giant could cause a massive eruption, triggering both a tsunami and a powerful earthquake, possibly reaching a magnitude of 9. The island could sink, displacing lithospheric plates with such force that the effects would be felt worldwide. Currently, magma is slowly accumulating in a vast underground reservoir beneath the lake, which was once the volcano's crater. However, our ability to predict such an event is limited as we can only estimate the quantity of magma using zircon dating methods, which involve analyzing tiny zirconium crystals in volcanic rocks. This method provides only approximate data, meaning that we might not know about the impending disaster until it's too late. In addition to these threats, the Cascadia subduction zone along the California coast is another area of concern. This zone is a subduction zone, where one tectonic plate slides under another. Typically, these movements are gradual, occurring over several years. But in this zone, the shifts can be sudden and catastrophic. In 1700, the Cascadia Fault Line caused an earthquake with a magnitude of 9.2, devastating Vancouver Island and much of California. Scientists now believe that another major earthquake is inevitable. Chris Goldfinger, a professor of geology and geophysics at the University of Oregon, suggests that the Cascadia subduction zone could trigger other fault systems, 
such as the San Andreas, San Gabriel, and San Jacinto Faults, which have caused devastating earthquakes in San Francisco in 1906 and Loma Prieta in 1989. If these fault systems were to activate simultaneously, the consequences could be disastrous, with at least one million people forced to abandon their homes. Imagine a massive tsunami in the North Sea, a region traditionally considered calm. Approximately 600,000 years ago, as the Earth entered a new geological era, rising sea levels triggered a colossal landslide, sending a 300-kilometer-long ice wall crashing into the sea. The resulting six-meter tsunami reached the coast of Scotland. With climate change now causing sea levels to rise again, the chances of a similar event occurring are increasing. If serious measures are not taken, the inhabitants of Scandinavia, the UK, Iceland and Greenland could face dire consequences. This chain reaction could be unstoppable, with climate change leading to tropical hurricanes and typhoons spreading to mid-latitude regions, where much of the world's population resides. A group of scientists from Yale University recently published an article in Nature Geoscience warning that subtropical storms like Alpha, which hit Portugal in 2020, and Hurricane Humberto in Connecticut are early signs of more significant catastrophes to come. Joshua Strudholm, a physicist at Yale's Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences, emphasizes that humanity's main problem is our inability to predict the next disasters. Our current models and programs are inadequate for forecasting the behavior of tropical typhoons under these unprecedented conditions. While scientists estimate that there is a 200-year window for the next disaster in the Cascadia subduction zone, other events, such as the eruption of the Toba volcano, could happen tomorrow. But as you've seen, our ability to predict these events remains far from perfect. What if a deadly chain reaction were to occur, causing multiple catastrophes in rapid succession? Would you know where to take shelter?